Yeah. Hi students. I am Dr. Badrinath. In this video, we will see the dosage adjustment in the hepatic failure patient. Hepatic is nothing but a liver. We know very well. See, initially the liver was in red color and it was very smooth. See, very smooth. But gradually the liver is becoming a failure. It becomes a bubbles, cyst formation, and it becomes a cracks. See, the yellow, it becomes a yellow color and it becomes a crack. So liver is failure. When the liver is becoming a failure, you must adjust the dose. Definitely. Because all the drugs are metabolized in the liver only. All the drugs metabolized. Okay. See, and in this video, that's why we will see, this is the doses. All the doses you have to calculate. Calculate in the liver failure patient or in the hepatic failure patient. Now we will see along with the examples, right? Yeah. Why, 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 why we have to adjust the dose? These points you have to write in the examination. Compulsory. First point you have to write. The, liver is the organ of the drug metabolism. It is a place for the drug metabolism. Drug metabolizing enzymes are present in the liver only, mainly the liver. Okay. These enzymes are responsible for the metabolism of the drug. That's why it is called as a metabolizing enzymes. Okay. So if liver is failed, if liver is failed, all these metabolic enzymes are destroyed. See, when the all metabolic enzymes are destroyed, then what happened? Drug will not be metabolized. Okay. So drug will not at all metabolized. So it go on accumulating in the body itself. It will not be metabolized go on accumulating patient is taking second tablet third tablet fourth dose fifth dose sixth dose he is go on taking body in the body drug is not metabolizing and increasing the toxicity so it leads to toxicity it leads to death also patient so that's why if you are not adjusting the dose for a liver patient okay patient will be either in the heaven or in the hell that's it that's why that you must 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 Okay. Hence, it is mandatory to adjust the dose in the liver failure patient. Yeah. <clears throat> See, there is a three things are there. Extraction ratio, I have already told you in the video of the clearance. Clearance video, I have already uh, mentioned what is the ER, extraction ratio. There is a, all the drugs, all the medicines are classified into three categories. High hepatic extraction ratio. See, this is a hepatic extraction. This is a high hepatic extraction ratio like propranolol, lidocaine, nitroglycerin, morphine, iso. All these drugs are highly extracted in the liver, highly metabolized. Extraction is nothing but metabolized, highly metabolized in the liver. Whereas uh, aspirin, codeine, nortriptyline, quinidine, we are moderately metabolized in the liver. Low ER. Yeah, very less metabolized in the liver. Dizepam, uh, penobarbital, phenytoin, these points are very, very important. So, before going to do calculation, calculation, it is dosage adjustment is only for these two class, it is matter. River role is high because moderately it is metabolizing. These drugs are highly metabolizing in the liver. So, liver role is main here. So, when the liver itself is damaged now, need to adjust the dose compulsory. So you have to check the class. Either it is a high hepatic extraction ratio or moderate hepatic extraction ratio. Then you must change the dose. If it belongs to low extraction ratio, need not to be changed because liver role is very less here. So either the liver is a diseased liver or a healthy liver, whatever it may be, we are not at all bothering about the dose. All these drugs need not to be changed. Okay. Here I am showing only few drugs. Only few drugs. You can be in the Google, the given drug, you can be Google it so that you can be find out high extraction ratio, low effect, full classification it comes. Okay, but here the space due. So one, if it is a third low ER, need not to be adjusted to the dose. So liver roll is less, need not to adjust to the dose. Right, okay, next point. Chronic failure, acute failure. Acute means cute, very cute. Very small time, either a week or one month, maximum three months. Acute liver failure. Acute, only small time liver is failure, but it reverses back. It, it is reversible. 
this is reversible see liver is failed temporarily temporarily it bounces back to the normal so need not to adjust to the dose that is also important so what uh, and here chronic liver failure see here how the uh, color is changed how many bubbles are there here see here see only less few bubbles are there here more and more bubbles cyst formation will be there on the liver liver is failed for a longer time it is a irreversible it cannot be bounced back to the normal position at all hence you have to you must need to adjust the dose okay so two options you have to keep in your mind if the drug is belong to low er need not to adjust the dose first point next if the liver is acute failure need not to be adjust to the dose so where you have to adjust high hepatic ratio moderate extraction ratio chronic liver failure then only you must adjust to the dose remaining time not at all required you don't worry don't bother about that two methods are there we will see first method and second method two, only two methods very simple in first method there is no calculation at all directly from the table you can uh, draw you can find out that's it very easy okay see face is the index of the mind okay we know very well albumin is the albumin is a protein which is present in the blood it is a index of the liver function liver function either the liver function just like a renal function in the kidney creatinine clearance we saw kidney function okay in the same fashion liver function here we have to determine with the help of the albumin if you know the albumin automatically you can able to tell what is a liver condition see here this is the normal three columns you observe normal liver that's why i give a green color this is a more severe hepatic failure that's why i give it the red color here the, and this is a moderate less severe hepatic failure see here albumin concentration in the blood is the index of the liver function normal liver consist of a albumin concentration greater than 3.4 3.4 is above normal liver no need to adjust the dose if albumin blood concentration blood not albumin in the liver albumin in the serum concentration is greater than 3.4 need not to adjust the dose just give a see here normal dose either it is a highly hepatic extraction ratio medium hepatic or low hepatic extraction ratio you give a normal dose that's it see if less severe hepatic failure 3.4 to 3 if concentration of the albumin in the blood is below the 3.4 and above the 3 grams per deciliter and if the drugs are highly hepatic or moderately hepatic extraction ratio give only 75% of the normal dose irrespective of the drug if the drug comes under hepatic extraction high hepatic moderate hepatic and if it is a less severe failure correlate give only 75% that's it you calculate 100 mg means 75 mg you are giving that's it if the drugs are having a low hepatic extraction ratio normal dose need not to be give any adjust the dose okay and more severe hepatic failure albumin level is decreased still it is fallen albumin level okay albumin is synthesized in the liver okay so severe condition uh, albumin concentration is decreased it is a less than 3 3 is a border point 3 to 3.4 you have to re re remember that's it that is okay so give only in case in such a case severe failure uh, for these drugs high medium hepatic extraction give only 50% whereas the remaining high uh, low hepatic need normal dose only need not to be adjusted the dose only 50% you can be calculate 50 half of the dose 100 mg means normal dose 50 mg for patient that's it example we will see propranolol propranolol we saw it comes in the high hepatic extraction ratio keep in your mind so if propranolol normal dose is 150 mg then calculate the dose for a liver failure patient okay found with the serum albumin concentration as 2.5 grams deciliter serum albumin concentration this person he is the person liver is failure albumin concentration is 2. gram 2.5 so 2.5 means it comes under the more severe hepatic failure okay and propranolol comes under high hepatic extraction ratio okay so he went to fortis hospital and for, hospital have shown excellent uh, solution for him so 
now the step one propranolol comes under high hepatic extraction ratio hence it is necessary to adjust the dose okay good so 2.5 grams comes under the severe hepatic failure so so as per the table reduce the dose by 50% so patient to dose is equal to 75 mg that's it very simple now method 2 in this method just like a renal function in the kidney kidney renal function here hepatic function we are going to be calculate only three very simple equation these equations are nothing but same as that of the renal function only patient uh, albumin you compare okay hepatic function see hepatic function patient albumin concentration divided by normal person albumin concentration so that you will get a hepatic function once you got a hepatic function patient to dose is equal to normal dose into hepatic function patient to dosing interval here also you can either you can adjust the dose in the second method by keeping the dosing interval constant or you can increase the dosing interval keep the dose same two options is there just like a renal function only so patient to dosing interval is equal to normal dosing interval divided by first is multiplication second is the divided by hepatic function same problem we will take same problem only for a propranolol all normal dose is 150 mg same problem see here calculate the dose for liver failure patient found with a serum albumin concentration 2.5 g deciliter so this person uh, went to a kims hospital okay uh, he is a liver failure patient okay now what we have to do same problem only there we got 50% in the first method 75 mg we got here step one propranolol comes under high hepatic ratio uh, so dose adjustment is necessary you have to write all these things number two uh, hepatic function patient albumin concentration is equal to 2.5 what they have given normal albumin concentration is a constant you have to take it as a four it is a fix 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 four okay so what is the hepatic function ratio 0.625 now step 3 patient to dose is equal to normal dose into hepatic function so hepatic function already we got here normal dose it is there in the problem 150 into 0.625 so he got 93.75 mg in the second method same problem first method 75 mg no problem whatever it may be okay either you, can, you have to write the both examples and you have to explain in the examination okay yeah right so uh, i kept all my videos in the playlist just you can be watch it